Hey, good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panam. I just want to do a quick video update on what's going on in the tropics. It's been an extremely quiet season so far as, as the number of storms has been kind of high, but they've all been relatively weak, and none of them have really impacted the United States. Uh, but that may be changing as we go into the weekend and into early next week. We're keeping an eye on what's called Invest Area 95L. Now, this is just a name that uh, the Navy and the Hurricane Center used to designate an area of interest. It's a tropical wave. It's a pretty impressive one sitting over the Yucatan Peninsula right now. And right now, it looks like it's going to emerge into the Gulf of Mexico here. I would say uh, probably within the next couple of days and likely will be one of the biggest threats we've seen to the U.S. so far this season. Now, the system is just sitting down there, gaining some strength. It's got a little bit of a spin to it, but it's over land right now, so we're not looking at anything intensifying right now, but pretty good convection on the east side of this as it gets over the relatively uh, warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, which is pretty warm, actually, and pretty deep compared to the rest of the Caribbean. Uh, there's not much shear. There's not a lot of dry air like there is in the rest of the Atlantic. We could see some development here. Uh, pretty rapidly here's a look at the uh, spaghetti plots as we call them and there's two camps right now yesterday there was a camp that kind of wanted to bring the storm into the bay of uh, Campeche and then move this thing basically into Mexico which is horrible news for Mexico <clears throat> they just do not need to see any more moisture but now today we're seeing a, a pretty steady churn in the models as everything is trying to curve now back into the northern Gulf and if you look carefully you will see there are numerous models now, um, including some that are somewhat reliable, now moving into the central Gulf and eventually off to the north and east. And what's interesting is that that's starting to make a little bit more sense, especially when you look at some of the other model data. Now, this is the Hurricane Wharf, and I posted on Facebook earlier how this has been a very unreliable model this season. It has been. It's been intensifying everything to Category 3s, and the tracks have been way off. But the one thing that intrigues me about this morning's run is it initialized really well with where the center of the uh, the wave is, the open wave right now, and where the convection is and wind is this morning, it moves the uh, storm into the Gulf and then does a little right churn as a pretty strong storm. And again, the intensities, the intensity forecasting is the most difficult and most erroneous part of forecasting tropical systems. So you got to take these with a grain of salt. But it is very, very good conditions there in the Gulf of Mexico. And then moves this thing into Florida and then up into the Carolinas. And something I noticed this morning on the GFS model, we've got this big cold front coming down Friday into Saturday. And the GFS has been doing something really interesting as it develops two lows, one up here uh, near Western Carolinas on Sunday morning, which really changes my forecast uh, for the weekend. We're, we could be looking at some much heavier rain in here. And then it tries to develop that tropical system on the tail end of the front. You could see it here in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Not as strong as the Hurricane Wharf, obviously, but you can still see right there. I'll get my pen out here. And the storm moves up in this general direction as one low moves up along the front. So we've got this cold front, which could be a big player. So regardless of things develop um, tropically, we're going to have a front with some moisture connected to it that could bring some heavy rains to the southeast. And this is a Sunday afternoon. You can see the what, what could be a tropical system, uh, hard to tell this early out, moving into Florida. That would be pretty quickly. Um, and then moving off to the Carolina coastline and then maybe reforming off the coast and becoming another tropical entity or getting a name depending on what happens. But pretty complicated setup and the model still running so we don't have. But just a quick look at what it's doing right there. So kind of an interesting pattern unfolding for the weekend. And I would say anybody in the Gulf of Mexico including uh, the entire Gulf Coast, Texas, Louisiana, Florida Gulf Coast, needs to really pay attention because as it's been a quiet season, a lot of people have kind of lost interest or kind of let their guard down. It's way too early to do that and something to keep an eye on as we go into the upcoming weekend because we're still in the, in the heart of hurricane season. And the Gulf of Mexico, because of the deep, warm water that's down there, is always a hotbed for tropical activity. So there's a look at it once again. 
This would become Jerry, Hurricane Jerry, Tropical Storm Jerry first, obviously, as it moves to the north. And because it's so close to the United States, I suspect we'll see a recon flight out there uh, maybe as soon as tonight or early tomorrow. So that's a quick update on what's going on in the tropics. Please pay attention if you live in the Gulf of Mexico and in the, Car in the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf Coast area. And if you're in the Carolinas, be ready. We could have a very wet weekend. I'll have those changes coming up in my full forecast today on NBC Charlotte at 4, 5, and 6. See you then.